Hello anyone who may be watching now or later, and welcome to Linza with me, Hillian, along with... Here. Yeah, you really need to get your microphone fixed because that's now the third time in a row. I think it's the, I think it's the new tool the fix you told me to do. You know what? <laughs> uh, yeah, that fix. Uh, should... uh, I, I thought you said the takes, but no, the fix. But... <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you know, the fix to not have my picture randomly flicking ring. I think that's the downside of what we did. Uh, maybe uh, we'll have to look into that, fixing what that. The... What hmm? the heck? What? Don't you just say. Started... You started some robotic again. Okay, so it's likely more that just Discord is having an issue right now for you. Or you. It's it, it kind of hard to know in the, in who's having the issue. And yeah, actually, yeah. I, think, I think this voice thing says it's only recent and I've been from a Discord update. Could be. There was something about a big glitch recently, but anyways. Uh, welcome to Showcase Sunday, where we'll be, well, we'll be giving it four, up to four games, or typically four games. About half an hour each to see if they're any good for streaming later. And while well, anyone who hasn't realized <laughs> what this game yet should have their gamer's license revoked. Because this is Unreal Gold. And yeah, Unreal really doesn't need much of an introduction now, does it? And for those that it does, Unreal is one of the grandfathers of the modern 3D shooters. I can't hear you at all. Yeah, music too loud? No. You, you got way too distorted for, uh, for a few times, so I could not hear any word you said, just bleep, 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 bleep. Yeah, then it's definitely on your end, I'm guessing, for some reason. Anyways. Don't forget, there has been time when me and Rom could not hear you at all. We could each hmm. each other just fine. Okay, um... But as long as, long as it does not go, go over on the recording, it should be fine. Yeah, why the hell was the mouse inverted by standard? But, yep. Yeah. Sensitivity is rather high as well. Uh, like, I test these games beforehand only by if, to see if OBS re actually wants to, uh, yeah, catch it, so to speak. Other than that, I typically do not start them much. Uh, GUI mouse speed, let's look. Is that, that's already at the lowest? I, I don't even know, want to know what it's up there, the highest then. But, yeah, things are, uh, <laughs> we've just woken up and now things are already going to hell. But yeah, this is one of the first fully 3D uh, shooter games, so there's a bloody bandage here, five and health for that. I thought it was a toilet roll. <laughs> it might as well have been. Someone's book. Let's see, a translator for F2. Plus 20 health from a health pack. And yeah, we're starting out with no weapons at all. We are getting some of these flares though. Since this is a pretty dark game from then. Oh, we can we can read these. Let's see. Boris Cloud. Isn't that a C? It's, a pre, it's already pretty small in the game, but even then I have it windowed to make it even smaller. Day three. I have been here but three days and already have two cracked you know, ribs, a fractured thigh, and 14 stitches. I don't know if I'll make it you know, to the prison moon, much less to the end of the next week. Yeah, but this is a prison ship. Let's see. Benjamin Natalio's diary, day 93. Today is my birthday. I will celebrate by attempting to start another prison riot. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Is there something here? Yeah. But I first say, the, the few people I can see not knowing Unreal, Unreal Engine, 
but no, no, on no, real games are probably the most younger generation. Yep. Let's see. Jonas Gerwin's diary, day 204. There was another roach in my lunch today. I wonder how they make it on board at starships, uh, such as this one. If, uh, if the bitch in cell 4A keeps looking at me funny, I swear I'm going to rip out her uh, larynx. Isn't that part of the throat or something? Anyways, let's get... Again, we fall down. Let's get moving out of this flickering hellhole. Uh, attention all prisoners, remember, be kind to yourself, mate. Violence will not be tolerated. Um, I think it's a bit too late for that. That's, we already read that one. Is that no idea what he said, folks. And I'm watching my voice me, uh, my voice connection, and it's been green all the time. I have having some pixelation, though, so I might, might... There, has that fixed it? But you need to screen share it again. Yeah, the audio, at least. Yeah, the audio is fine, again. But it goes in... ...random. It happens. Okay, uh, hmm. Yeah. Very obvious. <laughs> oh, hello there. And goodbye there. Yeah. Uh, most people don't actually realize it too much, but Unreal is partially actually counts as a horror game. I can't stand that. Yeah. And what it? Okay. Oh, that, that ping is a new translate near yeah, the message. Oh. And this guy just. We just missed the, his final death throws. Uh, yeah. Here. The uh, Vortex Rikers. Now, uh, altering our course may have proven detrimental to our mission. We are caught in the gravitational field of an uncharted planet. I have ordered the engine foreman to divert power to the drives. Okay, so that's what's going on. We, we've been caught in. Well, we, we've been caught in a gravity well, and are kind of crashing, if we haven't already. Yeah. Uh, I think I know how I can fix the thing in the future. I think I just need to rule my... Is that a term? Ruling the D? I uh, don't think so, but someone's going to make an innuendo out of it all the same. Yeah, I, I started to realize that right after. For other words, it's just right, just fine. Just my online name, it seems to struggle with it. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to look into that more. And I, I think this was perhaps a first with uh, games that they had reflections like this. Also, am I sliding around? Yes, I am sliding around. <laughs> oh, that brings us back here. Uh, hmm. Obviously, we want the armor. <laughs> so, how do we get the armor? Oh, wait, is that... Is it that freaking simple? It's that freaking simple. <laughs> uh. Okay, then. Uh, then again... Other way. Then again, people, during the pandemic, these could have been used way more than they themselves have expected, so... Yeah. Oh. Probably gonna take oh. these for a while to fix it to be fully optimized for the new influx of users using it at the same time. Yeah. And, well, things aren't looking too good at the med bay as well. Some more health. Of course, as the usual with games like this, 100 is the max. So anything we want to pick up past that doesn't work. That's the first glimpse of one of the enemies in this game, and 
yeah, they took this guy's pistol or whatever they were using. Actually, no, here it is. The this <laughs> dispersion pistol, which looks like a big freaking magnet. Now okay. it's certainly bloody, and this place is going to be heck for us to get out of. I, I'm kind of sad I didn't continue doing the Unreal games, but they, they did many tournament games. The main story games, they, they stopped after made... two. Yeah. Like, sure, they realized the tournament was um, well, way more fun, perhaps, sure, but... I feel like more of the story games would have been good for the franchise, or if the tournament games died out. Yeah, I'll, I'll admit that Unreal 2 is... Uh, it isn't... It isn't terrible, if you ask me, oh. But it isn't great, either. It's, oh. Still, they'd have more than enough money now to make an Unreal 3. They just need to find a... Yeah, a story for it. Yeah, no. I think we both know the Epic Games have... No longer a good reputation. Yep, because, yeah, as was clear... I know, I know it wasn't clear during the flyby, but it was hidden behind the uh, starting soon bit. But this was, game was made by Epic Mega Games, who nowadays are known as Epic Games. And someone who also had a hand in this was Digital Extremes, who still go by the same name, and currently have made Warframe. Okay. Let's see. I missed a bit there, but... Uh... Actually, I'm going to try and rejoin and see if that helps. Okay. And let's Otherwise, see. it's probably just Discord for my... Just my voice connection is just fine. Yeah. Uh, let's, see. let's see. Prison Vessel five yeah, two five four Vortex, Rikers. They've pulled all power to the drives to no effect. We're spiraling towards the planet. I don't know what's going to happen to us. And uh, yeah. Oh, come on. Aren't you supposed to open that up? Yeah, it, 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 that beep, that beep is going to get annoying. And there we go. Game type, Unreal, map title, Nilev's Falls. Oh, oh no. Arthur as well, Ned. What the heck happened there? Hmm? Okay, that was weird. When I went to Rio in first time, you said, Connected, not connected, not connected, not connected. I just keep doing the connections on over and over. Okay. Yeah, th this now, must be having something going on then. Yeah, and now it, now I see I have connection again. So, yeah, I guess I said earlier, Discord, while they try to do new updates, they are definitely struggling with uh, the influx of uh, people. Yeah. And... Yeah, we've already crashed with this thing. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> and this is one of the things that Unreal was known about, or known for at the time, is that these just big-ass open levels. Because we'll be walking around in these for quite a bit. Some health that we don't need. I don't know if there's any secrets around in this game. No, there probably are, because those was... A bit standard back in the days, um, but I personally don't know any. I I have played this game before, but I've never been able to finish it because it got stuck at one point, uh, which apparently a lot of people got stuck on. Uh, how old were you when it had happened? Uh, it was in the last five to ten years or so. Oops. You played recently. Okay. And our first um... enemy. There I think we go. When, I when this game came out, I probably would have been way too young for the story one. Nope. Yeah. No hit scan weapons, only projectiles so far. And this, our pistol, or our, as I like to call it, the magnet, <laughs> it has recharging ammo. As you can slowly nice. see in the lower right. 
It, it's just... It's a thing a lot of pistols do. Either that, or they have just plain unlimited ammo. Or plain extremely easy to find ammo. Yeah. Let's see. Already we have two ways that we could go. Nope. So let's check out what's over this way then. Okay, I have no idea if this is moving forwards or not. Yep. Nope. Still trying to get a bit used to how quickly this thing moves around like this. Like, so let's let's take a look here. What happens if we put up uh, this to the max? I'm probably going to throw up or something. Actually, no. Wait, what is is that even the mouse speed? Is this is a very tiny text? A yeah, GUI mo oh, GUI mouse speed is that the the menu mouse speed? Hmm. And let's let's look around. It's still uh, feign death. Okay, throw weapon. Don't think we want to do either of those. Mouse sensitivity. There. Let's turn that down to four. That's better. Okay. Now then. Yep. This looks like a dead end. I think you can pick these things up for health, but since we're full... Yeah, we're obviously not. I'm not sure if you even can go in the water here without dying. I think there are some parts where you have to swim around. But now... Let's just take a look here and see if this has any entrances we can go towards. Uh, yeah, I, th I think that is forward, so let's head back a bit and try that other path to see what we find there. Let's see. I think the last Unreal game I played was Unreal Tournament 2003, I think? I think they stopped somewhere halfway in the zeros, like 2005 maybe. Yeah. And I have to check it. For, I think we have the. Almost. Okay. For some reason, we thought, let's revive the Neanderthals for the tournaments. <laughs> and get them super suits. <laughs> okay, metal so, yeah. boxes. For people to remember that game, you saw some humans and old actor weed like Cayman. They were literally revived Cayman, that's why. And whose idea was to give Cayman guns? I don't know. Oh, some clips there. Oh. There we go. Uh, some attempt at water texture. Yeah. And I hear something upstairs. And yeah, we, we can't actually interact with buttons. We just have to live. Basically, body check them. Oh, hello there. There we go. Oh, and hello there, pistol. Yo, th this isn't the same pistol as that. Uh, the ones those are carrying around. Let's see. PV heal. Hmm? Let's see. I think that Galeon has been in all tournament games, even the old ones. Probably. Let's see. I was attacked by a flying beast. It uses its tail as a weapon. I was able to kill it, but not uh, without taking a beating. I discovered the orange berries have a healing effect on me. I feel strong enough to proceed. Well, not strong enough to survive at the very least. And yeah, that that confirms again that, that beep is really is going to get annoying. That confirms again that the berries can be used for healing. And yeah, now we have an actual <laughs> an actual pistol weapon. This one is a hit scanner. We can just fire it normally like that. And uh, there is also an alt fire. I forget how to use that, so let's take a look. Let's see, controls, alternate fire, middle mouse, or joystick. Let's turn that to right mouse. 
jump for some reason is also tied to right mouse and spacebar at the same time, so at least it has alternatives planned in. But yeah, for the alt fire we can go gangster. <laughs> oh. Okay, so can we go back? Uh, no, we cannot. Oh, that then <laughs> we were on the optional pass at the first place. Oh well. Some more ammo. There is something just very satisfying about the weapon pickup sounds in this game. And yeah, the gangster, the, the sideways shot is basically rapid fire with these things. Yep. What did we pick up now? No, that. How did I manage to switch the flares? I, okay. Let's see. Force field contain. Force field control area. Okay. Uh, I guess we can shove this thing around, and you can use it to get this. Uh, get these clips. And yeah, like in any shooters, you want to have as much ammo as possible, especially when I can hear something growling just around the corner. Oh, 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 I, oh I completely forgot about these things. Oh! I guess that was the other thing he spoke about in his notes? No, uh, he, he, he said it was a flying beast. So, no, not oh, that one. Okay. Alright, so that one just climb to the roof then. Now, of course, the trade off with the rapid fire in this thing is that it. Yeah, it drops the accuracy like a brick. For a moment, I thought that was an enemy, but no, it's a stupid fan. Yeah, I can see it being good at close range. But from further range, you want the accuracy. Yep. Okay, with R we can swap around between the items that we have available at the moment, the translator and the flares, so... Uh, come on. Can I...? There we go. Nope. How did you lot end up here? And hello? Yeah, this will be familiar to Unreal fans. That's one of the uh, Napali uh, natives. I forget what they're actually called. Let's see. No, not Flare. Let's see. Harrowbed Village is on the other side of these mountains. I will wait until the two suns have set and proceed through the mine. It is the only way. Okay. I thought that was actually how we were supposed to get around this, but apparently not. Hmm. We're going to have to do something to get around that forest field. So let's head this way. And that's... There. Oh. Yeah, I saw some clips in there. So we can pick those up on the way up. Wait. Okay, that was a bit of odd layering. The thing was visible through the <laughs> through the stalactites, and I think I heard one of the natives, but alive just now. So they must be hiding somewhere. Oh. I do like that they just fall dead on their head like that. Oh, shield belt. Okay, that's power off, and gone is the music. And, oh, I see now, up in the l upper left corner, that's where we can see our armor. We have a lot of that. Okay, I'm not held to an 86, 96 armor. Yep. Um... Oh, that was our last one. 
Yep. And uh, this is our first introduction to these bastards, the Scar. And they're dodgy motherfuckers. And yeah, let's get out of there before someone gets a freaking Caesar. But yeah, the Scars are the main enemies so, of the entire series. And oh, also something that I don't think a lot of games do anymore, like the actual shells that fall around and such. I, I saw a, a clip there before, but I'm guessing I... Oh, there, oh, there's definitely something there. Let's try that one more time. But never mind there. Ow. Okay. Let's just run before more of the scar find us, because... One or two are easy to handle. A bit more? And yeah. And let's get some of those shards. Here. Yeah, they're a, they're a warrior race that... Uh, oh, basically... Yeah, if, if you take the Klingons and remove any... Oh, oh crap. Any attempt at uh, civility, you get the scars. Also, if you add in some Wolverine blades. <laughs> Nope. Nope. We do not want to be underneath that. Okay. 60 bullets. Okay, that's nice. I think that the thing just got burned. Nope. Yep. And we maybe you zoom. Okay. It's going to automatically... No, this is just a little alcove. Uh, yeah. Oop. Yeah, that's one of the alive natives, and he actually wants us to follow him. Tall guy as well. Probably two meters like. And I can hear something growl. So, yeah. Oop, another one. Yeah, they will actively go for the natives if they're leading you somewhere. Out. And yeah, the natives will actually show you to these hidden alcoves with the stinger. This thing is what these shards are for. And if, oh, it seems that we ha are limited to 200 maximum. Uh, this thing is our assault rifle and uh, assault rifle slash minigun combo. <laughs> yeah, this thing, uh, this thing can tear things up and it's alt fire. It's a shotgun. Oh dear. That's kind of an interesting combo. Minigun on first, shotgun on second. So oh, I. Has seen that in another game too? That it was from a mo modded thing. So maybe they got the inspiration on this one. Good chance. And assault rifles and uh, shotguns are some. Well, the most common weapon types in games. So oh, it makes sense to combine them. Yeah, and the gun was from Starbound mod from the Avali race, and they had a something I thought was like a mean gun called the Hailstorm. And seeing this, I think I yeah, I think they took inspiration from this gun. Oh, another one. And of course, the accuracy with this thing is going to be a little bit off due to its rapid fire. What are you doing? Okay. What's this then? Hmm. Okay, buttons. Uh, is this going to blow up? Oh, no, but it's going to try and blow us up through these assholes. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so much for the warrior race taking cover by a freaking explosive barrel. Also charge with this thing is well it, it the second shot with alternate fire blah is a charge shot. Oh dear. There we 
go. What the heck are those? Is there any... Is there any beast here in this game about them? Or the... Oh wait, this is probably back in the where you only had your info in a manual. Yep. And if there was something that we picked up about that, we can't. We can only see the current, the last thing that we find, uh, came across that has been translated. Hmm. Okay, this is where we would normally find the stinger. Oh. Uh. Okay. Yeah, there's. Is there manual saving in this? Some some, some weapons need to be re reloaded. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Activate item. Next item. Look up. No, no, no manual reloading. It seems. Okay. Oh dear. Oh, I what can the? hear one of those things. There you are. Okay, uh, moving on. There we go. Yeah, probably shouldn't have run up closer to them. <laughs> but yeah, we can see how much ammo we have with different types of weapons by the little bars on the well, right side. It's behind me, actually. And, and the, the, I just realized when I was talking about it, looking at over to see it reload, I just realized now I'm in front of that, so yeah. It wouldn't even be visible if I wanted to. Well, I could hide myself for a bit for that, but you'll just have to take my word for it then. Oh dear. Nope. Okay, since you apparently want to die, there we go. Let's see. Area must be clear for transport lift uh, to perform properly. Okay. Uh, oh, it destroyed the crate that was on there. I think we were supposed to do that for this to activate. No, we. I think. Yeah, we need to grow back on. And that is how we get up here. Oh, hello there. Uh, oh. Okay, there was the timer going off. So, yeah. Thoughts about possibly streaming this game sometime? Oh. I, I'd be afraid, but there seems to be some story going on. We can still read, read story logs and all that. Yeah, and I should probably do it in full screen then, so I can actually read what the hell is going on. Or at least a little bit. And, oh, I can hear another native. And, uh, yeah, they... Oop. Uh, hello there. Basically, what's been going on is that the Scar have invaded here. That is where, a lot of, where all of this technology comes from. And, yeah, they've enslaved the natives. And, yeah, they have their own little tricks, as you can see. Um... Long, long legs, short, short arms. Some armor. Well, yeah, let's call it there on this one. So, yeah, we can definitely put this one on the to-do list. So, let's move on to the next game to be showing off. And pause that, reset it. There we go. Share it to the to gear. And, yeah. You may have heard a bit about this game, and it is, it is pretty recent. It, oh, hold on, what the hell? It's... Okay, why is it off like that? Or let, let me double check. Okay, odd. I thought I'd resized this thing already before well, with the test. Apparently not. Or it reset itself somehow. Oh yeah, that, that's why... <laughs> I'd set it to frick I'd set it to windowed modes. But for some reason that forwards bit is yeah is in full screen. 
Yeah, this is unsighted. Uh, there's a, I think there's a demo of this available, and yeah, I gave that a try, and I was impressed by it. And this game gives me sort of similar feelings to Iconoclasts, and yeah, that is among the uh, <laughs> the favorite games that we've seen. Uh, my favorite games uh, of the ones that we've streamed so far. So yeah. It uses the exact same noises with uh, selection here as in Iconoclast as well. So yeah, let's go for the medium difficulty. Automaton repair, collect the syringe to heal yourself. Plasma syringe, press Q to heal yourself. And there we go. Ow. Yeah, very obviously pixelized or pixel style, just like Iconoclast. And I'll try not to make too many comparisons to that game so I don't uh, spoil myself too much on uh, yeah what might and might not have to be with it. Or that, I, that I'll, I'll let this game stand on its own two feet, not just lean on iconoclasts all the time okay lab west wing i like that i like with the cursor that it has that middle bit as well so even if you're aiming away at something you can see you know, if you're aiming past something you can see if you might hit it or not because yeah this is going to get into a bit of a twin stick brawler that is blocked off by those plants there, or those roads. Shift to run. Unlimited stamina. East wing. A lot of tubes with stuff in them. And hello there, that's blocked off. I can easily say that... That pixel games nowadays are very modern ones to their uh, predecessors. The runway smoother. Yeah. Password to continue. We don't have a password, but we can press in something random. Yep. Yeah, nope. <laughs> oh, hello there. Uh, the senpai tadpool boops the snoots <laughs> and pats. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, I don't actually have that program that uh, Tatum and such have. I might look into putting that in at some point. I think. Yeah, I, I think I've seen you in uh, Tatum's chat sometimes, so welcome, anyways. Welcome! It, do let us know if we sound good here today for... Yeah, it sounds like Discord might have some issues. It's... Yes, but because I, I said yeah. that, Helion sounded like a robot for me. <laughs> Okay, we need to get find. We need to find something to use. The question is where that is blocked off. Hmm. Okay, you sound clear to me. Okay. Yeah, because and it should not, I'm not be on the recording. Yeah, I'm not having heavy. Yeah, I'm not running into issues with uh, Drakir's sound. So yeah, it must be Discord on his end screwing around or such. Weapons research. Oh yes, Discord in general. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, give me a second. I, I don't need to keep this program transparent since it's on the side of the game. Let's see. Right now, uh, but I will let you know. Okay. Uh, basically, what we do on Sundays here is that we try out four games for about half an hour each. And this is the second one on Sighted. And here we find Iron Edge. Yep, this is a bit of an RPG. And here we have our main character. I, I I like this animation on her. It's very smooth. Even it's it's minimal, but it's it's smooth. So let's go. Rudimentary weapon crafted by humans long ago to be used against automatons. It is po a popular choice among the automatons nowadays. And also also something to always love is when you equip something and it actually showing on them. Yeah. Yep. Simple attacks, cost stamina. It says to use your... Oh. 
Yeah, that can never be a good thing, huh? From this, it says to use right mouse button to attack as well, but it doesn't do anything. Probably because oh, I, I remember now. Weapon one, weapon two, and it shows right here. Yeah, we can dual wield, sort of. Oh. And yeah, now these little buggers are free. So now we have to go kill them. Wooden branches, iron ingot. There is a crafting system in this game, I believe. Defeat enemies to fill the syringe. We're currently at 16%. It is very obviously so how they're going to attack. Some engine oil. It's a combo system. Uh, give me a moment here. There, that's better. A bit of the chat program I'm using to keep an eye on it was overlapping over the game. Which we rather don't want. Okay. There go. And there was one tank here with something big in it, so let's keep an eye out for that. Oh dear. Space to dodge. The literal jump. <laughs> and there it is. Still, for how big it is, it'll go down just as easily. Out. <laughs> it looks familiar. It and get hit. And there was some stuff up here to get. Or at least some places that were blocked off, I think. And no, only the groats, really. Okay. No need to stay there for much longer, then. Oh, dear. Let's just head in here. Doctor's room. The doctor? Okay. I'd be surprised if it's here. La -la. Uh, yeah, part of you got cut off there? Or did you cut yourself off? Hmm? Uh, test one, two? Three, four, five? Okay, <laughs> you just seem to cut out all of a sudden for some reason. <laughs> okay, then it means it's this cool for... I've been saying occasionally something, and you suddenly speak over me like you didn't hear me or something. Okay, yeah, we will head there. Mate, for now, uh, just uncheck that thing that we uh, did to try and fix things before. Hopefully, it'll fix things now. Not unfix them. <laughs> okay. Memories so I think it's just Discord. Yeah. yeah, probably just Discord. Memories from a forgotten time come rushing back to you. Wake up, my dear. Those are some thick glasses. We need your help. Do they always have to bust out like that? Is there, is there just simply no way to open those things without shattering them like a freaking piggy bank? And the other two got out as well. Doctor's log, N0595. N -O Today was such a great day. Ra Raquel and Alma are finally getting along nicely and they're helping rebuild the city from the last human attack. Alma is a fast learner and I'm certain she'll be crucial to ending the, this conflict. I hope we can teach her more than strategies and fighting. So much more she's capable of. By the way, new elevator password is 1995. I did not forget it like the last time. Having to use the air ducts to get out of the lab definitely wasn't comfortable. <laughs> uh. Oh. Unidentified biomass detected inside the perimeter of the lab. All personnel evacuate to the elevator immediately. 
Ooh, uh, yep, let's GTFO. That looks way too eldritch to deal with at the moment. <laughs> it's a Yorksoft's fault himself. Or so off. Yeah, I think he'd be a bit more fat and less <laughs> army. Uh, 1995. Yes, <laughs> that was close. Okay, but who are we? Are we Raquel? Or right? How would you I mean, say that? I think the other two names are from the other two twin, the triplets. Help me. Yeah, that means that we are unnamed still. Hey, you, over there. Uh, you look so strong. Help a poor fairy bot out over here. Bzzz. I was right. <laughs> what, Navi? I, I just called it a uh, Robo Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> you, thank you, that was rough. The monster got the best of me and I ended up stuck on, in a, on this pile of debris. Hmm? Wait a second. You were not unsighted? Who are you? Yeah. Who am I? Okay. A quill. A quill. Is that is your name? No. I think that's who I'm looking for. Hmm. A quill. Name does sound familiar to me. Why don't you come with me? If that's Raquel, then we must be Alma. Totally no relationship to the armor from the Fear franchise, I hope, because that was a bitch. <laughs> I'm going to the Crater Tower. I'm supposed to meet Vanna there. The heck happened to put a crater in that thing? Or around that thing? Vanna is super smart and strong. There's nothing she can do. Can't do. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be able to help you, and she probably knows who this Raquel is. Seriously, how would... I'm just going to say Rachel. Uh, I guess. And also, getting that by myself would be hard. This place is crawling with unsighted. We'll mark the location of the crater tower on your map. Let's go. Yep, as is usual with these Metroidvania likes, we have a map. No, we... Yeah, we can't go through here. The blade bounces off quite literally. I guess this tower could be built afterwards in the crater. Yeah, we, I, we saw a tower in that flashback, though I, I didn't get a good enough look to see if it had a 9 on it or not. And hello there. Gone. There is a combo system. I'm not sure exactly what that does. It, pr it will probably be explained sooner or later. Maybe more damage, more experience or such. So I, I think there's an experience system. Uh, be right back. Just gonna throw food into machine. Okay. And no way down there. Walk towards a vine to climb it. Okay. Grab that. Some more junk. Oh, just short. Can I get that with a running jump? Yes, we can. Sprockets, okay. Hmm. Industrial sector entrance. Is there anything here? I... Okay, tab. Yes, there's a there's a way up, or an entrance up, like here. What's this? Downtown terminal. Hey, look, it's a terminal. Let's activate it. You can equip your chips at the, uh, the terminal. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't remember what chips are. Here, take these. Strength chip increases damage dealt plus two. 
Equip new chips at terminal. And a health chip, total life plus one. Okay. We can now equip these chips at that terminal. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, it wouldn't be an RPG without equipables besides weapons, now would it? Let's see. And I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. And yeah. This takes up two of the slots, and then we fill up the last one with that. And of course, we can upgrade to get more of these at a price. And recharge. Is that heal? Yep, that's heal. Okay. Nice, it's always good to equip as many chips as you can. You can find new chips everywhere around Arcadia. Okay, so we're named for this area at least. Or maybe this planet. You never know what effects they will give you. And if you want to equip more chips at the same time, you can go to a terminal and upgrade your chip slots. Let's keep going. Just eat a bag of potato chips. <laughs> yeah, I don't think automatons will have much uh, interest in potato chips. <laughs> Unless you could make circuitry out of potato. Nope. I thought I was just out of reach of that. Can't you? Can't you channel electricity through potatoes and lemons? Yeah, but I think they'd be a bit more difficult <laughs> to make circuitry out of. Hey, look, the crater tower is that way. And that way is <laughs> blocked. I don't think you'll be able to cross that gap, that gap with your current equipment. Let's look around. Maybe we can find something that will help you. And yeah, so starts the search for stuff to do. Oh, move forwards. You don't want to run out of energy as we're fighting. So I think we... Let's see. So something... Okay, it slows us down if we completely empty it out. So, yeah, we do not want that to happen. And we need a key to get through that. Okay, we don't have any. No, oh, <laughs> the currency is bolts. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I, I think it's similar... Don't... Um... Ratchet and Clank have the exact same cur <laughs> currency. <laughs> oh. How did I none of those so. shots hit me? There we go. All right. Yeah, yeah. I think they think they use bolts as well. I believe as a currency because I remember hearing something about gold bolts or something. Yeah, those would be yeah. extra well. <laughs> Oh, and that was me um, not paying attention. <laughs> I thought we could move around that. So I guess we'll just have to go here. What's this? Okay, just a switch. Uh, can we put this platform on that? To make it a shorter jump to that thing? Yes, we can. Okay. So with this... There we go. Oh. Spin attack chip. Increases spin attack damage by 50%. Okay. Uh, how do we use this? That means we have a spin attack. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just a simple charge up. Okay. Nice. Should be good with, to deal with uh, trash mobs. Go. Oh, big boy. Wait. Ain't that a monster from the very old Zelda games that looked like that? Not sure. And I by old I mean old, like, you know, go to the hmm. Let's see, there's some oh, there we go. That's what we need for the other thing. So E to hold. <laughs> Typical <laughs> as always. Oh, just holding it overhead. Uh, and it, it, I misheard you. It, hmm? I thought you said eat to hold. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah, that's forgiving. Nice. Hmm, what hit? Oh, there's a key. Okay. 
Hey, a key. Maybe there's a door we can unlock with this? Let's, let's check your map. You can view the map by pressing tab. We've already figured that out. But yeah, locked door. But there's still some places we can go here. So... Yeah, we can't jump over that. We need something to break those rocks. So that's probably for later. There is something this way. <clears throat> Pardon? Nope. Yep. One moment I thought a tech fairy was an enemy. A robot fa It is supposed to be a sci-fi on ring of Zelda. I guess. Let's see, that lowers those two. Hmm. For again, the one of your most looked like for the boss from one of the Zelda games. Okay, I see what's the trick here already, or at least I think I do. Yeah. These are too sh yeah, too short to reach there, but we can move these two around to put on top of them. And thus make them, hi uh, make them high enough to get to the chest. So let's just move both through. And we'll hit the switch again. Okay. Um. Oh, oh, that's shoved it outwards. Okay. Uh, move around. Double moves. Come on, get on there. Okay. I wonder if this is supposed to mean that the, this plan under her two moves. Hmm, doesn't need to wait. Uh. Okay, it was a bit of a visual glitch. I th it made it look like it was uh, standing in front of the wall, not on top of it. Might have just by one pixel or something. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't completely on that thing, anyways. Uh, let's see. That one's right raised. So we do this, and there we go. Vampire chip heals life for one point for every three enemies defeated. Okay, not too strong, but it would still be very useful, especially with a lot of trash mobs around. Yeah, it would at least allow you to extend your survivability a bit. Yeah. Okay, let's head back to that terminal, and we don't have enough to buy another to buy another slot. Are we, do we get any cash from that, or is it just random materials from time to time? Hmm. Oh well, materials are always good. Now then... Let's head for that door. If I can't stop getting caught on things. <laughs> okay. Did you, did you have a name, by the way, Fairy? I swear, if its name is Helian, I got to laugh. <laughs> okay, we can refill from that. Let's not overfill, or will it fill up fi another 50%? Uh, yeah, it will use 50% each hit. Okay, so be careful with using that then. Oh, right control. Just, oh, Perry. Okay. Parry systems are always nice in games, uh, if you can figure them out. Yeah, and if they are done well for... I think I've seen some games where parry is definitely worth doing, but other games, parry is a waste of time. Yeah. Oh, what the heck are you? You got a lot more health, that is. Here we go. Just after they flash red, seems to be when to hit them, or when to counter them. A, a blaster. Okay. An old pistol used by human soldiers that fought on Arcadia. 
Unlike humans, automatons are very resistant to gun projectiles. Nope. <laughs> Pardon? Oh dear. Okay, and reloads. Yep, okay, if we time that right, it'll reload a lot faster. Now then, we can climb up here. Get some more materials from that. even further. Hello. If you desire to keep living, leave an offering. Okay. You have my gratitude. Okay. Must be something with that, probably. Or it's just a money dump. <laughs> hey, you, you can hit far away uh, switches with your blaster. Try that one. Let's see what happens. There was one earlier as well. We only caught a glimpse uh -oh. of it at the corner of the screen. And, uh, here we go. Some iron. Okay, yeah. At least we're on the other well side now. Hmm. Yeah, there's there's depth in this as well. A depth in this because we. No, you'd expect that we'd fall back just right there, but no, instead we fell down all the way. That might be something that we'll have to keep a check on. To, um, to make sure that we don't <laughs> jump into pits. Take my food stone, so go and grab it. Okay. Easy enough to deal with. I'm guessing yours is going to move that. Yep. And here we are back. Um, what's that switch? I think it was on the other side here. Yes, there it is. Okay. Here we go. Now, what's hidden here then? Okay. Another type of switch. Oh, oh wait, now we're here again. Okay. Hmm. Okay, the tower is the other way though, so let's head back. There might be some... I didn't see any hidden... I didn't see any distant switches here though, but let's just take a quick look. Maybe we will find something. Hmm. <coughs> yep. Let's see. You'd think you'd be able to see a switch if it was to be if you were should be able to shoot it. Oh well. Welcome back. No, we found we found a shortcut over here, or more a roundabout way back here. That doesn't involve destroying those rocks. Um, yeah, let's go back here. Go through this again. And oh, there's a box up there. How would we get to that? Hmm. Rope a ladder? Maybe. An old crumbling door. A big enough impact might destroy it. Oop. Okay, why are you pointing that out again, game? Okay, we can't destroy it, or at least not yet. Might you might need explosives. And I just noticed that we do have enough. We do not have enough currency now to oh, to buy another chip. Oh, slot <laughs> too far. Oh well. 
and just get around quickly enough. Hmm. There's one part I, I should not be running whilst doing that. Let's see, we only have minutes and about left it seems, but there is something I do want to show off with this. Okay, that's how we get to this. Some wires. There we and go. Now, it does say that... Where is the way out here? It, oh, that, that's an entrance back into here for that. Okay. And where do we go from here? Hmm. Good question. Yes, we, we can go down here, but this leads back around. So, what could we do now that we have the blaster? Hmm. Oh. I, was, I was expecting to run into a boss with that thing there. So... Oh, now we can do this. Actually... And uh, there's no need for... We're going to restart anyways when we eventually get to streaming this. And that's the timer. That's... Oh. Hey, look, it's the crater tower. I bet Vanna is around here somewhere. Oh. Um... We might want to turn the other way. So that looks a lot... Okay, crystal. We saw this in that flashback. Hello. Here we are, Alma. This meteor is the source of anima, energy that gives all automatons consciousness. Because of this, you are able to think, feel, and exist. The humans, however, think they can use the meteor for their experiments. They don't know how anima works, and yet they crave it like hungry animals. If they get their hands on it, you all will be subjugated to their will and might not even be able to react. That's why I created you. You have to stop them, for the sake of all automatons. Let's go back to the village for now. You can't be late for your sword training with Wakrell. Wakrell? So a fate, Wakrell. Don't worry, Alma. I'll be here for you. No matter what. Hey, you, snap out of it. What is all that about? You got paralyzed there for a moment. Yeah. I think I remember it. My name. It's Alma. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's about time. Nice to meet you, Alma. Got to get to check by a mechanic. Let's find Vanna and go home. Yep, just as I thought. Hello. Ah, watch out behind you. Yeah, this Boy, thing. Horror. Shadow creature. Uh, if he's like, inspired by something like a Shogoth. Just a... Oh, oh and now there's fucking two of them. Forms, um... And yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure you're not expected to win that anyways. <laughs> Here she is, Vanna, let's help her. Oh, torn in fucking two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is where the demo ended. Uh, yeah. Let's leave it on that. 
but yeah, like I said, I I fully intend to uh, stream this eventually as well. Now, how do we? No, that's not. How do we exit? Uh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I, I think this could have a lot of potential with where it goes in that. Same here. So yeah, that's two out of two. That's a yes so far. So on these last two, I don't know much about them. So we'll see if these will be of any interest or not. Uh, just one, two. Three, four. All right, you can hear me then. Okay, that's something going on with Discord. I just uh, commented uh, that I really like the pixel art, but it's so smooth. Let's see. Long ago, the goddess Veldis birthed. Oh. One day, the dark goddess attacked her mother at her home in the city of Sital. Sital? The goddess of light arrived too late to save her mother. The city was in chaos. Okay, lowering the volume a bit on my end. The clash between the two sisters cracked the land and sank the holy city of Sithal into the abyss. Well, this story. Abyssal City. Yeah, I don't know much about this game, and but uh, what I do know is that at the moment it's running in Windows mode at like... Yeah, really small. So, yeah, and I also, also... Wait, come on. There we go. It doesn't respond to the mouse for some reason. And, yeah, there's no resolution option except for full screen or not. So, yeah, that's an annoyance. It, it, I, <clears throat> it could probably be forced to run into 1080p. But for now... Uh, yeah, let's not do that. It, of course, it moves back in the freaking corner. Actually, scale. Oh, there we go. That's a lot better. Uh, I will have to resize this in OBS now, though. And that is... Yeah, that is bigger than 1080. Okay. Uh, give me a second to oh, fix yeah. that. I hadn't noticed this whilst I was testing the game. And... Okay. Is it working well for you, Drakir? Uh, I can see. Okay. I can hear. And here we go. New game. Uh, God Slayer. Uh, let's not. <laughs> okay. Gilda, caster type, oh, enigmatic half dragon sorceress. But that first person's face. Why it's good new? Normal play type, the wandering warrior in search for his missing father. Strength and agility. I think and the... they need sleep. <laughs> then there's Reina Gaius, advanced play type, orphan raised as a monk in an Alagathian monastery. Agility and intelligence. Veldin, ranged play type, man cursed with an arm possessed by 100 demons. Ag agility and luck. And, yeah, Gilda, we already saw that one first. I... Okay. 100 demons. I'm, I'm getting a bit of a Chinese mythology feeling from that, because they have a lot with a lot bunch... Just a bunch of demons crammed into one place. Oh, hello. <laughs> we attract the demon warship all the way to the South Sea before the fro uh, below the frozen wastes. Using the heavy mist as cover, we ambush the, sh the warship. We've been searching for Garneau for many months now. He's the last living Hyokun knight in Mirgato's Dark Army. And he has information on the disappearance of Ketterin. <clears throat> we gave the crew their orders and prepared to board the warship. The real battle bus about to begin. Okay, and these are the four characters you can play as from the looks of it. But something came up from the black depths of the sea. Uh-oh, it's the Dishonored Wills coming back for revenge. <laughs> Creatures unlike any I had seen before. Beasts of impossible size near the demonic and were angelic. Ship was attacked and then... Well, at this size difference... Uh, 
That ship is going splat. That's a horrifying version of a blue whale. I'm not sure if that was audible, but there was a motorcycle going past. What I seek? Power. Power to destroy the false gods and free human souls from their control. You wish to free humanity? You believe you are just? All demons and angels were once human, yet you slaughtered them without hesitation. Okay. Why is it that you want to kill the gods? To save humanity? Or to satisfy your own bloodlust? Whether or not I enjoy it is irrelevant. It must be done if we want to survive. We shall see. Apparently my glasses have missed it up quite a bit. Endless Fluff Games <laughs> presents... Yeah, Valdez Story, Abyssal City. Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing all of that for just before this was just uh, how they get to this city in the first place. Hmm. Am I the only one getting a bit of Atlantis vibe? Mm, yeah, no, you're not. Let's see, music by Zach Parrish. Yeah. Music so far is a bit generic, but not bad. It's, it's kind of pleasant. Mm -hmm. And sound design and effects by Callum Bowen. So, okay, it sounds like this is a very small team. Or could be a small team. Okay, are these things now unfogged? Okay. Oh, damn, that hurts. Okay, yeah, this has a lot of... This looks a lot like Maple Story and such. Which I believe were designed or made in uh, China. That light must have been some sort of protection mask, but where from where? This place. Where the hell am I? I don't see Reno or the others. Let's go look for them. They had have to land somewhere. Uh, up and est for healing blessing. Okay, jump. Okay. Uh, a is uh, no clue what that oh, okay that cast magic forwards uh, I'm guessing a is guard like that D is attack okay these are I guess this were supposed to be used with a controller hmm let me see if I connect the controller now will it react to that yes it will okay a for jump, extra attack, Y for a different attack. Hmm. Okay, um, search your, search for your crew, and okay, right trigger is the magic. Oh, hello there. You humans don't learn, do you? We want you to stay out of our. Wait, who are you? I doubt you're willing to tell me where we are right now. In the name of the Dark Lady, I shall rip you to shreds. Uh, uh, well, that was easy. Um, I'm yeah. guessing it's light. Yeah, it's light and heavy attack. Okay. Oop. Eat the guards. It's like what? No, no, I said B to guards. Hmm. Okay, so I guess this is a more... Uh, a more direct 2D... <coughs> Metroidvania. Oop. Oop. Okay. Yep. Uh, oh, what is this then? Life potion. Life potion are used when HP reaches zero. Okay, so basically a revive. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. And of course they respawn. Yep. 
Level 2, start to spend tribute. Okay, um. No. There we go. Okay, yeah, attribute points and other points. There. Hmm. Yeah, I, I get the feeling this game was developed at, at the very least in Asia, to be uh, <laughs> sure of that. Uh, let's see. Oh, very inspired by it. Let's and the single one and skills. Let's see, warrior. Okay, increase attack damage by five percent. Combos of four greater increase five and uh, chance. Armor ten, ten percent health. Magic resistance, light magic affinity by ten. Mana and dark affinity. Let's go with armor. Since yeah, it's it's it usually helps to avoid damage in the first place. Demon Ruby. Oh, hello, big boy. Hmm. Looks like the spell that was binding the gates has faded. Pretty impressive taking out an ogre on your own. Another demon, what are you doing down here? Down here, so you're from the surface. An angel all alone in demon territory. Angel, I, I'm no Alagathian like slave. Spare me. Both angels and demons are not welcome here. Get lost. Hey, wait a sec. Oh, she, <laughs> she just rolls through the vent. Okay. Yep, yep. Uh, <laughs> okay, going around like a freaking Sonic character. What's this? It lights up, so it must be of some interest. Hmm. Blocked by a device. And yeah, we can't jump up high enough to get that. Hmm. I can't say... I can't say this is bad so far, but after... Yeah, uh, after Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, uh, it does feel a bit weak so far. After what? After Bloodstained. Like, ah. Uh, oh dear. Hmm. It doesn't look bad. Yeah. So it is very early on, so... But I, I am curious, at least. Yeah, so far, I'd, I'd say uh, I'd label it as a maybe. Certainly not bad, but it's not really, it, no. it's not really grabbing me, so to say. Master Scroll. It, it, we could, since we could take more than one character to begin with, I would not be surprised if we just picked a more. Uh, yeah, negative uh, character. Like, yeah, yeah. You, you see how you said he doesn't look like very like a very happy person. Yeah. And again, they, they said that this is the standard way to, to play it. Okay, so we can do a ground stomp now with that, and we can dash like this. Okay. I like that it shows a timer for how long you have until it's something close like that. It's not something you see much, if ever, I think. Yeah, okay. that, that's a quality of life thing I think Minnie should have. Yeah, it requires the skeleton key. You can feel a familiar energy coming from that room. I wonder what it is. Oh, and he automatically goes in. It's statue. Okay, so save stations. Uh, also, always a classic and Rogue's Cower. Let's see. Can we equip that? Clothing commonly worn by thieves and assassins. Its torn will need to be patched up before use. Okay, so we can't use that. Uh, okay, effects base, attack damage, max HP, and armor ruin. Armor ruin? Okay. Hmm. 
I think that's a typo. I think they mean Almaroon, not Almaroon. Yeah, we'll have to see. For now, though, um, let's get a bit more attack power. Hmm. Okay. Let's go from before. So here the rats snooping around. There's no holes for you to crawl into and hide this time. Who needs to hide from you? This is another one of Nagato's lap dogs. Sounds rat. What's this? The rat has brought a friend along. What is that hideous blade you carry? What, you've never seen a real sword before? <laughs> nah, a real sword, he says. That thing is better suited for shoveling dirt and cutting. And I guess it'll come in handy when I'm digging your grave. Clever. Well, let's see if that sword is as sharp as your tongue. Dark lady, behold. I'll give you a blessing for of blood. You done talking yet? <laughs> okay, boss fight. Oh, as a door. Yeah, all of the... Oh, whoop. All of the style stuff so far gives me a very big maple story or similar feeling not sure if i've actually played maple story myself at any point i think my younger brothers have but that's it come down here you Oop. Okay, he uses that skill cancel as well to dodge around. Oop. Oh, come on, what are you now? A magical Donkey Kong? <laughs> okay, heavy attacks for in our blocking. Oop. Cheap shot there. Uh, I think we're like we're probably going to die to this. Okay. Oop. We're gonna do that thing again. One HP. Oop. Okay, we can use that to. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, ratings like this. That this is definitely an Eastern style game. Oh, achievements. What do we say to the god of death? Uh, okay. Not bad at all. You did better than I expect uh, anticipated. I'm starting to get excited. What's that Game of Thrones reference? Looks like we'll have to cut our dance shorts. Do stay alive, boy. I would love to break that sword of yours sometime. The hell are those things? Uh, yeah. <laughs> they look like crystal crabs. Come on, we need to get you out of here. I can handle myself and myself. I didn't ask for your help. But I'm offering it anyway. I'll get the hell up. <laughs> you should be safe here. I'll go take care of that thing. Really, just the next room over. Out of your mind. There's a, there's a good reason the demons ran away when it showed up. Those demons are cowards. I don't run from anything. After I kill it, I'm going to find out where the rest of my crew is. Now get out of my way. I saw something from, from the, fall from the sky earlier. That's the reason I was out here. It was you, wasn't it? I don't have time for this. Please wait. I admit you are not like the other demons and angels that come from the surface. I knew before on just gods, if that's what you mean. Listen, we call those creatures you saw back there ferals. Down here you learn to avoid them. They eat anything that's not one of them, and usually they stay in their own territory. Please, just come with me to my village. I know this city well, and maybe I can help you find your crew. The village? How many people have survived down here? Hmm. Okay. Oh, she'll actually attack as well? <laughs> okay. I was expecting her to just run along. And the demon ruby. 
Hmm. Yeah, personally, I, I, hmm, I don't, I don't really like the what a lot of Chinese, you know, a lot of Eastern style games do with stuff like this with the ratings and stuff. Uh, or maybe it's more that I just do not like what? the style or how things go typically. Um, storytelling wise or gameplay wise. Uh, sort of both. Uh, yes. That does look good, but there are also those that I feel like I can see miles away. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I think that's a common thing with all uh, games nowadays. Yeah. Uh, let me move this thing over a bit again. Correct. That's there. Yeah, Latan, you back already? I couldn't scavenge any supplies today. The demons tightened up their patrols. They had a new leader assigned to this area, and for some reason, Ferals showed up. Ferals? Damn, that's not good. It looks like you didn't come back and hand it. Who's he? It's from the surface. He helped me with some of the demons back there. You know the excitement back there? I forgot to ask your name. Wyatt. Wyatt, eh? That's got a nice ring to it. It's real smooth. Anyway, the Elder said to send you to him when you got back. Something important. Thanks. Come on, the Elder's place at the bottom of town. Hmm. Yeah, it, it might it might still just be that uh, we've been spoiled for quality with Bloodstained. <laughs> uh, Bloodstained all the games, and... I think this feels like an indie game. But I... Like other indie games, they dare to do some a bit, a bit more unique story and all that, uh, or they do, or they trick you to think it's a unique, a, a, a typical story with some sudden twist. Yeah, it, it doesn't look bad so far, but I'm just missing something. Also, her model looks oddly 3D when she's running like that. I think it's the shading on her hair, Very or rather possible. the fox shading on her hair. Hmm. A lot of characters around here. Wait here, Wyatt. Ah, good, you're back. I was beginning to worry about you, Atalan. Hmm. You're wounded. I, I told you to be more careful when gathering supplies, didn't I not? Oh, no, it's just a scratch. I met this man out uh, in the derelicts. He says he is a human from the surface. That's so. Step closer, outsider, and let me get a look at you. My name is Wyatt. I'm a traveler from Yugokun. Yeah, the names like that always give it away when something is made in the uh, e made in the east. Traveler, huh? Tell me, why exactly would you travel to Sithhile? We were hunting a demon ship in the area when our ship was attacked by a large creature. We had no idea Sithhile existed. Uh, others from my ship must have landed in this city. I need to find them. Do all travelers on the surface go around hunting demons? Does it matter? Or do you expect us to, tr uh, to trust you if you can't answer a single question? Quiet, Z uh, Zyg. It's obvious uh, that what happened to Ethelan would have been much worse if he had, uh, had not shown up. And so what? Why, why is the text shade... Uh, uh, not shaded, but uh, a gradient like that. Like it goes from red at the top to yellow at the bottom. Let's see. Have you known any what? demon or angel to ever help one of us down here? He had no reason to help her, but he did. Elder, he isn't. He is not a demon or an angel. He is human like us. This is all the, uh, the trust we need for now. Someone doesn't like us. I'm sorry to say we have not seen any of the people from your ship, but maybe we can help each other. We've lost contact with one of the other villages due to in increased angelic presence in the east. <laughs> Pardon? I had hoped to send Ethelan and Atas to re-establish communication with Brook. But seeing as how she went and got herself injured, may I ask you to take her place? Grandfather, wait. You, you can't ask an outsider to. Us child, you would fare much better than you at this. You will stay here and have those wounds tended to. 
Yes, Elder. The people of Rook uh, will not trust you when they see your hair. Take this package beside me and deliver it to them. Uh, what does hair color have to... Actually, all of the people in this room except for Wyatt seems to have white hair. Yeah, and he's asking the same question. My hair, what does that have to do with anything? You ever noticed? Something down here has turned everyone's hair white. No one knows why exactly. Only demons and angels seem to retain their hair color. It helps us tell them a <coughs> it helps us tell them apart. Yours will fade too with time. Tell them Elder Trier has sent you. That might get you inside. Hopefully you may find information about your companions there. Why right, take this wall hook? You will need it uh, to get to the mausoleum district east of here. So both angels and demons are being sent to this place? What are they up to? We don't know. They just began showing up about a year ago. Watch yourself out there. Hmm. Alright. And we're still only at 1 HP. <laughs> like hmm. I said, I, I'm noticing a lot of tropes being thrown in here. Like most of the new uh, uh, Asian games I've been playing have been having some troops, but they at least try to do something, something with it. But this one, I don't know. Yeah, there's just so it, something that peels off. Yeah, like I like it, but I think that's something that feels off a bit. Hmm. Oh, like. I guess it's it's with Audrey Yerrick? Yeah. This is also, there's the fact that the, this is blown up a lot. Yeah, in, it looks a bit better in the OBS, it seems, but there's just a this the the detailing on this looks a lot very crude. No spells. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I'm, uh, but why is that turned off? No, no, the on is... If you turn this on, it goes into full screen. But, yeah. Um, shall we cut it off a bit early with this one? I, I'm just not feeling it. It's not yeah. terrible, but... Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. There's, some, yeah, yeah, there's something odd, like... It looks like it should have a, have an, something special going on, but... Yeah, it feels a tad too generic and such. And plus just an, a very odd mix with... Yeah, there's, uh, it feels a bit inconsistent as well. Because you have that a lot with some games that you... They have names that are just a, a grab bag of everything. We have names like Wyatt, and then there's names like Atalan and uh, Ken and... So just those area names, what the hell? <laughs> it just feels like it, it feels partially translated. I, I can get that there's several different cultures, which will explain the naming, but mm. uh, if you if the game is not going to be about those cultures, then maybe not bring them up as much or have so many stuff in there maybe this is part of some other franchise or something i don't know i can hear you again yeah the discord is definitely off on your end from the sounds of it yeah uh, as long as it does not go over to the recording i am happy for if that this were <laughs> translated over to recording that would be a serious a more serious thing yeah for now, though, let's move on to the fourth and last game, which is probably going to be a bit different than the Valdis story. <laughs> yeah, this is Valveris. I've seen a little bit of this one. I've seen Splattercat play one episode. <laughs> and yeah, in this one at least, it looks just it looks just chunky on purpose because this. From what I know, this is a love letter to the old style of games. So yeah, let's begin and see what the hell goes on here. In the far corner of space, a lone wolf ship cuts through the void. <laughs> Literally with a, a wolf's head. Hyperspace deactivated, preparing for final approach to Valvaris. Time to wake up, Therion. 
I'm awake, even in the void, sleep eludes me. Akate, run a primary uh, trace scan over Valveris. Initiating scan, one primary signal detected. Appears to be in stasis. The scan also shows a significant number of life forms. Let's hope Vrol is down there. In time, I, it's time my father paid for his crimes. Okay, so we're hunting down our own father. I have a visual on Valvaris. Uh, Run final check next for inser insertion. Oh, wait, Valvaris is a station? Trajectory locked, weapon systems on standby, autopilot engaged. I I'm getting a very Warhammer 40k feel so far. I think it has inspiration for many... <laughs> some old movies and such. And yeah. the... Let's see, switch to manual, I feel like going in hard and heavy. Wolf ship ready for insertion, I'll transfer it to Ververa's mainframe so we can stay in contact. Okay, here we go. Get ready, Valvaris. I'm coming home. Oh. <laughs> okay, screw your anti-air defense. I'll just park right on top of it. <laughs> you just see now what I, what I mean with heavy metal. Yeah, it's in the description as well. Like a heavy metal inspired game. <laughs> nice landing. Thanks, I've been practicing. The skills have yeah, attracted some attention. Multiple life rooms are closing on your position. Yeah, time to get to work then. But it, it looks like it's from a metal cover. Yeah, we've already had our share of a <laughs> metal style game. Okay, X is the pistol, Y is the attack. Okay, usually the. Usually the melee attack is more easier to use. Oh, hello. Okay, we can pick up enemy hearts. Wait, what? Enemy, enemy attacks usually enemy heart? What? Left trigger. Oh, that bounces back, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing we, we pick those up for health, for healing. I saw one of one of those shots got reflected. Melee hits yield enemy which energy which powers your shield. Okay. So you need to attack to be able to block. Yep. Oh, this <laughs> guy, that guy's legs were still walking around. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, don't there get we sound. go. I, I, I didn't think they'd be able to jump like that. Okay. It's not. Uh, and achievement unlock. Get used to it. <laughs> okay. So. I guess they primarily want you to shoot things instead of actually slashing them up. Okay. Or oh, a mix of both. We can aim our shots at the angles. Okay. Wait, did I just kneecap that guy? No. <laughs> oh. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay, I was trying to aim down to shoot at the dogs. <laughs> okay. It, 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 it's not holding our hands, so that is something that can be uh, said about it, for good or bad. I, it, <clears throat> it, it would feel weird for it to be very hand-holdy for... Uh, in a heavy metal game, yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Come on. Okay. This is starting to get a bit annoying, but more so 
by my own hand. So, yeah. Uh, there's a freaking face on that thing there. Okay, why did that one get bounced back? Is it like a timing thing? Okay, yeah, it's a timing thing. There we go. Shoot the dog. Shoot that guy. Walk forwards. Cut this one apart. There we go. Now we should be safe to go down here. Hopefully... Okay, there we go. And what's this? Resurrection Idol? Nope. Okay, oh, we use those for checkpoints. Okay. Uh, left trigger. Okay, there we go. And it looks like the shield only uses up power when it, something actually hits it. Okay. Oop. <laughs> okay, another of those. Oop. And yeah, those hearts are healing. Is it a timing thing? It's... Okay, if we... With the right timing, they, he he grabs on to the item or the projectile that's being fired. Okay. Access equipment. A plasma. I think that's a bit more than just a pistol. And Therion's... Oh. Therion's trusty sidearm fires superheated plasma bolts. Rank 1 of 4. Okay. This plasma blade harvests a large amount of energy from its targets, can also slice through plasma attacks. Okay. So that's why you even have a so what? Yeah. Wait. Yes. I think this might be slightly inspired by Doom. Uh, what isn't inspired by Doom these days, but yeah. Yes. Replace the chainsaw with a plasma sword. Did, did, it, did I just... I think I just sliced their shots in the midair. Okay. There. Oh, uh, hello. This is very Contra. Uh, let's not fall in. Let's see. Shield Counterblast. Activate your shield just before the projectile hits you to catch it. Release it and launch it back to your target. Okay, so that yeah, that's what I figured out earlier. Here's another... Oh. Yep. Okay, you guys can shoot in an angle as well. Okay. Simple combat, but if it, what was... Uh, I'm guessing there was charge for our shield or something. Ah, freaking dog. Ooh, whoa, we need to watch out. Are you just... Okay, the dogs are just constantly spawning. That there. Okay. Uh, oh, defeat the hounds. <laughs> Immediately we get eaten. This, they said defeat the hounds, not get defeated by the hounds. Oh, oh, come on, this again. Okay, I get, I get. Oh, yeah. go I guess if we bought this thing and killed it before we activated the checkpoints and it went back and activated it then maybe then we could have skipped those you know, this, or maybe we could have skipped having to do that again for now though we could just run past and wait didn't I activate this thing 
I don't think you did. <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> okay, this time we're going to just empty out the kennel. What the? Oh, uh, what? Uh, oh, hello there, Poppy. Oh. Rocket Dodo? <laughs> that was unexpected. Okay. Oh. There we go. Uh, we have no need for that heart. Uh, okay, rocket powered uh, uh, moving platforms, okay. Oh, no, uh, come on. I was ever supposed to. Okay, so the game is being a bit. Yeah. A bit annoying with just enemies out of nowhere. Oh, hello, what the hell is this? Whatever it is, it's mine. You found the hell race. And, come on, he was headbanging. <laughs> Oh, heavy metal. Uh, what the heck? Hell right. Shoots an incessant hail of powerful tormented souls. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, now it's fully yeah. fe feeling like Contra. Oh, it's using our shield power. Okay. Uh, yeah, I use the same health pool. Okay, luckily, yep, that refills it, and let's stick that in. Okay. Oh, but, oh, come on. I just realized a, uh, a fitting Comic Con nickname for this, uh, what you could call this game. Yeah, what then? Heavy Metal Star Wars. <laughs> it's not too far off. <laughs> Now we kind of want to see how that would be. In fact, probably like this. Oh, this is probably what you get for mixing Star Wars and uh, Warhammer 40k. Okay, we use these to upgrade our stuff. All right. Uh, what does it do when we upgrade them, though? Let's see. First. Not enough materials. Okay, increase power, increase range. Okay, always good that they say what it uses. To, or what it does before you use it. Oh yeah. Oop. That guy again. And you are just going to keep constantly spawning, aren't you? Or not. Okay. Let's just grab this then. I probably don't want to know what that liquid is. And oh, this cannot spell well. As I was honestly expecting to get dropped into a spider pit immediately. Yeah, we can shoot out the lights. Uh, is there anything supposed to be here? Oh, there we go. There we go with the spider pits. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, let's grab that. I'm not really sure why we need to keep finding these every time because we they haven't exactly been hidden so far. Yeah, they, might, they might as well have just let us use the act, activate those every time we get there or we get to them. 
Though it might change later on that these re resurrection idols become. Uh, well, the heck was become less <laughs> easy to find. Possible. And detecting an immense source of energy ahead. This is what I need. I could do. I could do with a kick. Oh, unlimited energy. Oh, okay. Wait, if we have unlimited energy. Oh. Okay, unlimited energy, but not unlimited health. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This feels very Doom, because Doom also had upgrade yeah, pickups like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and dead again. Okay, we're going to need to be a bit more careful with that than just randomly firing all over the place. Oh, oh that, or we can also just walk straight into the power line. <laughs> oh, the heck, okay. Killian. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Impossible, your bio read is shot at levels beyond even my sensors. Yes, that was quite the rush. <laughs> uh, typical uh, AD style, uh, no, a hero that isn't impressed by anything. Let's see, debris is blocking the way forward. I think he was a bit impressed uh, and surprised. <laughs> Let's see. Interesting. If the ship you are standing on was fitted with a few crystal, it would be, you know, become operational again. An operational ship can create its own path. I understand. And this this place is feeling like a space hulk. And for people who do not uh, know what a space hulk is, uh, no, it's not the hulk, but in space, it's basically just a conglomerate of junk just clung together and lost in space. Oh, hello Imagine, there. Imagine uh, several uh, spaceship wrecks ac accidentally bumping into each other along with comets and molding yours into a floating scrap heap. Yeah. Okay, it's not the blood metal. Just this scrap heap, is, uh, heap of the ship, ships is basically gigantic. To uh, all, Some can almost be big as a moon or bigger. Yeah, because everything in the <laughs> Warhammer 40k universe is oversized as can be. Wait, you can repeat that? Because everything in the Warhammer 40k universe is oversized as can be. Yeah. And now we have to do this again. Okay, I, I think... I'm guessing they're going to make the checkpoints a lot less frequent between each point then. Or less and less frequent over time. Yep. There we go. Sun seen that already. Okay. Now this again. At least we can quickly press through this. Yeah, this is from the is story going on at least. Yep. At least dialogue. So yeah, okay. so far I say, it is, on my end, I would say we could add this to the list. I should really use the shield for that. Uh, not sure what, if anything, could block that. There we go. Yeah, how do you feel of the game so far? It's interesting. <laughs> I, I get the feeling it's partially meant as a parody of such, and how, why do we have two of these now? Uh, because that. Uh, what? 
Picking up resurrection items will increase your maximum health and energy. Spending them will mean you lose this enhancement. Okay, that's it. That's interesting. So that's why you can carry a maximum of four. So it's either ensure you don't have to redo the last part again, or yeah, be weakened for the next part. That that is interesting. And oh yeah, but Unsho is parody and move a, a lot of love letter love letters to many things. True, but to love something, you also often have to point fun of it. Yeah. Do we come might be book full of something you actually love? Nope. Yeah. Okay, that, 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 hap that does damage in a lot bigger area than I thought. There we go. At least we also heal a good amount from all of those things. Oh, hello there. The bastard. <laughs> An unwieldy but immensely powerful sword. Yes, please. Okay, and we switch it out. So not it all of the weapons... Have, but... Go ahead. Uh, it seems to have a shorter range, but a bit more... oomph to it. Probably. Actually, we, we can also just plain shoot that. That's why you were shooting it. Yep. Another idol. Oh. Yeah, we should have put that one in there. <laughs> uh, wait for the security field to deactivate and then destroy the electrostasis field holding the crystal. Leave it with me, I will attack aggressively. Yep, yeah, boss fight. Oh. Fuel crystal chamber. <laughs> and dead. <laughs> okay. Oh, but we kept the weapon. Okay. Nice. Stupid. Okay, just yeah, you again, though. Okay, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll need to figure out some counters to those things. Like, the missiles can be ducked by getting too close to it, but then it'll use that lightning breath of his, probably. And the, the timing of those vents and the spiders seems to just be perfect for to throw you into one of, of them. That is... Okay, that is longer range than I thought it was. Okay, shield broken. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now, uh, shoot that thing again. Come on. I'm liking this more than the previous one so far, I'll say. And yeah, that, that's the whole reason we do this to, sh to see, you know, to try things out, see if they're any good. And, yeah. yeah, actually, let's see. Do we have enough to upgrade anything? Mm. Yeah, let's go with the bastard here. Achievement, I seek power. Okay, at least it, skip it skips over. I still would have preferred if the... Actually, uh, I'll check in a second here. It's I just saw that trigger bigger. Gamepad. Okay, we can change this around. There we go. I'll put like that a lot more. Yep. Yeah, I think it actually did get bigger. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ah, missed opportunity. Well, not missed, but yeah, not exploited as well. Now I should stop jumping straight at those things at an, an angle. Okay. 
<laughs> Here we go again. Take three. Yeah, if I just go charging at them, they're likely to shoot me first. And I kind of want to be oh, alive to be able to do this. There we go. A lot more damage. Even if we didn't get the full timing on it. Oh, no. You're freaking... Yeah. Attacking downwards is going to be annoying from the looks of it. Yeah. Okay. Worth time then. <laughs> Almost one more should do. That even hits when we're crouched. Okay, so going to take a bit more still. Oh, ah, and I jumped right into that one. <laughs> yeah, but okay. you are getting closer each time at least. Yeah, and it's it's not being unfair. I, I just have to deal with these jackasses as soon as they show up. Because they grow, it seems like they're spawning in on a timer instead of just based on when I kill them. I think. Okay, almost. There we go. There we go. <laughs> it is gonna has got a bit of a resource management. Yeah, okay. Is there something that we could have found up there, perhaps? Yeah. It's not perf- well, what really is perfect, but this is, at the very, very least, this is grabbing me a lot more than the previous one, uh, even if I'm being dumb with how, <laughs> with how I'm fighting. And yeah, now we're back here. Put that in there. And <laughs> just write the fucking thing through. <laughs> oh, what the? F Where the hell are we now? Okay, what sort of hell nest did we enter? Hmm. The trumpet swamp. Ew. Oh, uh, hello there. Snarth, who did you dare to follow my beautiful treasures? So I think you might need to get your eye checked. It looks a bit bloody and blind. What, this pile of junk? Insolent scum, I shall gladly add you to my collection. Go from one boss fight into the next junk gargoyle. <laughs> okay. So, the typical shield bass fight. Just going to use stuff as, oh, as a shield. And attack with it after a bit. We just need to break through it all. <laughs> it seems like his actual body doesn't actually deal damage on contact, but just his junk. <laughs> there. Yeah. yeah. Of course, that's the risk of going in with the melee instead of the gun. 
it's a lot easier to get hit. <laughs> or I could just uh, do that. <laughs> okay. <sighs> and that's the timer, but let's finish this off first. You will beat him first? <laughs> yep. Actually... Yeah. Okay, that is... It is a bit annoying that uh, we are limited to only 8 degrees of aiming and not something more freeform. Oh. But, yeah, that's, that's a limitation they probably went with <laughs> intentionally. So, as I take another shot at this one, we had a, we had a good batch uh, today. Oh, yeah. Unreal is a definite solid. So, okay, get rid of that early then. Uh, I'll, I'll probably do Unreal 2 as well eventually. Uh, achievement unlocked, take them down. Yeah, that sounds like a that sounds like a gets X amount of kills achievement. But what I only destroyed junk. Uh, unsighted also a good yes. Uh, well this story maybe. Maybe eventually perhaps, but likely at the yeah, lower end of priority. Yeah, might need some investigation as well. Yeah. Or, I think the biggest problem is uh, the current main character. There's something about him I don't like. Like, yeah. I mean, too, yeah. too typical edge lord Or something. Yeah, not just the character alone. Oh. But there's also just with the yeah. There's also just something with the style uh, like that. Uh, I s I, I haven't I haven't played too many games like that. But from what I've heard, not you know, a lot of them can well be absolutely terrible. Like we didn't see too much of it, so it might just it might get better later on. But yeah, I, I just get an off feeling about it. And achievements, they'll leave a mark. Okay, drop that thing on this thing. I'm get, assuming oh hello. Thank you for giving it a perfect little and out of power. But not out of reach. There we go. Right on the face. Oh. Uh, no, one last attack. Okay. Snark. Be gone and return to the wastes. <laughs> and achievement trash compactor. I look up was it increased. And the hellhammer. Fires an immensely powerful short range blast. Uh, let's not equip that since our blaster has proven useful so far. Actually, let's 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 try it out. <laughs> okay. Wait. Um, I want to say that's a shotgun, but no, I'm sure. What the heck? It's a shotgun, yeah. <laughs> oh, it, it replaces shotgun. it replaces the other one. Okay. Well, that does make sense, but bloody heck. That's the okay. biggest shotgun I've ever seen. <laughs> Krogans will be yeah, jealous of this thing. And it seems that the amount of idols that we can carry has been upgraded. So from four to five. And now we can also exchange them for blood metal. Though, let's not. Heck, yeah, this one is definitely fun. It <laughs> Uh, yeah, we have Unreal Gold, yes. We have Unsighted, yes. A Veldis story, 
Let's put that as a maybe leaning towards no. And then we have Valvaris, which is... <laughs> yeah. I... I... Not really what I was thinking on there, or if I just had a blue screen moment. But, yeah, a good match today, I'd say. <laughs> um, anything more you can think of? Yeah, not that much else, for, besides that, yeah, this last game is really something. As well, Unreal Tournament. Uh, wait, Unreal, I mean. Okay. Uh, let's have a little look if someone else is streaming at the moment. So I can send people there. Uh, ta -da 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 -da. Extra credits is doing a video. Uh, whoa. Okay, who is that? Okay, I get a feeling of who that might be from the logo. The... Um, hmm. I've actually forgotten the name of that series. Uh, do, do you remember a series with a uh, Charmy the Scroll? I never heard of him. Okay, it seems like they're on Twitch. Uh, it wasn't... I'm not really sure if I could call it a good series, but not a terrible one at that. It was a flash gag series, but more mature, I think. But yeah, let, let's, not send, let's not go to them. Uh, extra credits is generally good, but I have heard that some people have... No, it's not Jim Sterling. No, Sterling has his own name, or has her, I believe. Let's just go with the neutral there <laughs> uh, name in their stream channel. So, uh, hmm. Oh, well, let's leave it at this then. Uh, <clears throat> might as well continue with this on. Uh, uh, oh, well then. Uh, yeah, thank you anyone who's watching now or later, and thank you Senpai Tadpole for hanging around and chatting a bit. Uh, <laughs> and of course, as always, extra special thanks to you, Drakia. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, this has been this, <clears throat> this has been Showcase Sunday. Uh, a good uh, one. Well, I'm going to say this for like the fifth time. A, a good batch, but when you start off with Unreal. Uh, that's a bit to be expected. So, yes. Um, <clears throat> on the, okay, for, I, <laughs> I think my brain is starting to break apart or something. Uh, on Tuesdays, we'll be Tuesday, we'll be continuing on with Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. Uh, I think by next week we should probably be done with that. Then we'll be moving on to, or we'll be returning to the Darksiders franchise with Darksiders 3. And yeah, until then though, thank you all again for watching. And until then, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks.